Here we are with the next War Rights Weekly Podcast. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about how to run a good event, a regiment, uh, and then other stuff if we get to that point. But let's go through and introduce everyone here with us tonight. First, we have Killer. Uh, yo, um, General, Major General Killer of the Army of Northern Virginia, first general, only general, European general. We got Mr. I'm Phantom. Also... Damn you. uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining mine. Hi, hi. Um, Zulu likes men. <laughs> Who does? Zulu here. Oh, I thought you said Zulu. Speaking of... He said Zulu <laughs> likes men. <laughs> Zulu? Yeah, I'm getting it back for, for what he said about me earlier. And then I took it back. Hi, I'm Zulu of the 5th Florida of the Sussy Brigade of the Maryland Campaign. And, uh, yeah, man, I, I, I help coordinate that stuff, and I think it's cool, and HDC is bad. Let's move on. Corded? I'm Corded, captain of the Chosen Man of Delta Company in 6th Louisiana and 2nd Corps, and I do not run an event. Yet. I didn't realize we were advertising our events here, Zoo. Yeah, <laughs> Guys, well. Killer does not run an event. <laughs> if you're a European regiment and you're cool... Uh, Grand Campaign is recruiting. Are you calling the 88th New York of the IBB not cool? I'm not. I'm not talking about the 88th again. I'm not having <laughs> names. I'm. Aww. I, I love know. you, idiot. <laughs> oh, he's still mad at me. Oh. Sorry. So yeah, this. Let's start with the general question about events. Uh, trying to run one. What makes a good event? Well. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to go more specific. I mean, I guess. I well, know. it depends what kind of what kind of style of campaign. Like, like, there's a big difference between Grand Campaign and the Maryland Campaign. And then the Mar- like the House Divided Campaign, is a bit like Grand Campaign. Just Grand Campaign's a bit simpler. This is less little layers in it. But Maryland Campaign's probably the the most unique one because there's not really ever been one like it out there with so, the way that it's played in a in a campaign what do you guys think a rule set should be for a campaign in general that's a broad question Ooh, depends, like, depends how historical you want to go if we're talking about in war of rights uh my rule of thumb is as few rules as humanly possible i think that trying to change the way the game against the way the developer is intended to play is lunacy and really only solves to generate problems because now people will complain and uh you know that one person wasn't doing following the rules properly and then you have a whole little debacle on your hands man yeah, i like that i like that we don't really necessarily have rules in the campaigns it's just like in grad campaign it's just normal war of rights event rules but we have like cards that you can draw which can like they're called like battle modifiers whatever so like those things which kind of just spice up the odd event every now and again but we don't really have rules for like other than the fact of if it's your token you know you're preferably in charge of the battle what type of your uh, what do the cards do for example like um like, there's some cards that, like, we ha- we added some new ones in the new season that we're doing that make it so we only play for kills. So the point is still active, but it's the kills at the end of the battle that depicts who wins. Um, and then there's cards for, like, no officers or only one regiment can bring flags, so you can't have two of the flags out of the four. Um, things like that. Just things that like can make it a bit more difficult or can give one side an advantage. I see. How um how complex are your guys' tabletop rules for um navigating through the campaign on the uh, tactical map? Like Zoo, you talked about how you like the rules being as small as possible. Is that the same for your like tabletop, how you run that? I think the tabletop portion looks intimidating, but when you actually get to running it, right, and playing it, it's it's pretty simple. I've done my best to kind of keep it as minimalistic as possible. I've definitely like 
thrown a lot of stuff out compared to the rule set that I based it off of uh, in order to achieve that goal. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like all the tabletop is is a mechanism to play War of Rights. I don't look at the tabletop as like this super important thing because at the end of the day, even if I had the entire War of Rights community playing the Maryland campaign, that's still going to be like what, like 50 officers, leaders, and community leaders like looking at the campaign. Meanwhile, there are dozens and hundreds of their guys, right? Just, they're just playing the game. So they don't really care that much. So I would uh, say, out of between Grand Campaign and Maryland Campaign, Grand Campaign is like simpler on the tabletop than Maryland Campaign is. Probably so. Cause like even up to like the turn order, like after every turn, we have to split up and like divide a number between each side, and then it's all based off like who has the highest, like the higher number goes first on their token or whatever. Like we we just we just have a bag and you draw a regiment out of the bag, and then once that regiment's drawn, they go. Yeah, the way the grand campaign works, right? It's it's an overview of the whole war, isn't it? Yes. Or a portion of the war. Yeah, yeah, when with Maryland campaign, it's each individual battle at the, you know, like regimental brigade, whatever level. So mm -hmm. instead of, you know, having your tokens at Shiloh, Gettysburg, you know, wherever they might be on the map, right? It's just the Battle of Antietam, the Battle of South Mountain, the Battle of Harper's Ferry. And, you know, to those bitter regiments, so especially they probably get more of a kick out of it, right? They can have all their little regiments, you know, together represented on the tabletop in the battle, right? Deploy where they want to deploy and push themselves out as a brigade, division, corps, or whatever. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I think that's pretty interesting because every other campaign I've played in, HDC, uh, Grand Campaign, and I can't remember. There was one more that was a tabletop, like War Brothers or something like that. Maybe not that one, but something similar south and north and south right they had that same like overview map i don't know i always thought it was silly to try to play gettysburg on what is antietam you know what i mean like you can't change that aspect about war of rights it's always going to be antietam or one of the other two ones all about the immersion <laughs> exactly yeah. so what is the end goal of a event like what should the end goal of an event be um yeah anyone have input of like the whole event yeah so like what is is the goal to like run a cool little tactical map thing is it to make players happy like what should be the main goal of an event to supply either a different style like not just campaign like to, to like to supply a different style of event that makes things like interesting like line battle events and stuff historical rules whatever or to just and just to create a, a fun environment where we can just play events peacefully and not have to deal with certain toxic regiments or whatever. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you show up to, like, Sunday in an event court, right? And it's just, like, fucking every regiment in one channel and we're all trying to debate, oh, what's, how, what's the balance of teams? How's that fair? And then we start arguing about how to pick a map. And then it just goes on and on and on like that, you know, for, like, 30 minutes. It can be pretty grinding. Um, I don't know. Well, the campaign is definitely a little bit simpler because, you know, you have what's before you, you know, killer's rules, my rules, whatever. But, uh, you know, you get to a battle, you, know, you fight it out, and, you know, we, we have some backups in place, you know, so that we don't constantly do the same thing over and over again. But uh, I think it's more interesting because you might happen yourself upon conquest or contention or skirmish or picket patrol. But if I go to Sunday in event court, I can pretty much hands down bet that everybody doesn't want to play contention or conquest, and they just want to play skirmish. And pick which roll is almost always also universally hated. So Phantom. I don't know why. Oh. Sorry, go on. I, I, was I think pick and is great. I think pick is great. Uh, mm -hmm. Phantom courted as people who are in higher ranks of regiments, but not necessarily running events. What do you think a goal should uh, of an event should be? Um, to walk away feeling like, uh, that you, <laughs> to have fun. Yes. It's not about winning, but having fun. The friends you made along the way. 
Yeah. That's my philosophy. To get the most XP after the map. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I don't know. How are we gonna how's that gonna happen after they turn off the uh, grace period? You know what I mean? Like uh er, you leave it there, on. You might as well keep it on for events. I will. Yeah. Anyone that's anyone that's leading is gonna have the hours yeah, to have a right. um, hopefully. Yeah, I'm level eighty I'm like level eighty three. Okay, I don't care about oh, any he's flexing. Rest, I'm gonna I, get XP. I still gotta <laughs> accept the uh the bonus that they give out. I still gotta accept that. Well, hurry up, man! You're running out of time. What do you got till the thirty first of next of this month or next month? I thought it was the twenty third of next month. End of May. Uh, okay. There's He's plenty got, of time. Gotta... Oh Guys, God, like I gotta 12. have one more right. Uh, I guess. But yeah, it... that's sorry. No, no. What were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, but uh, yeah, I I think that uh, of course the primary purpose of an event should be like at the core war of rights level, and that including the tabletop, should be to have fun. So, you know, it kind of sucks if I get 250, 300 guys all together, right? And then, you know, I've basically already set up a tabletop portion or fitted out the event knowing that people are not going to have fun or it's like set up a certain way so that the, it, there's no little to no consideration for the actual players. Uh, you know, I think that's my problem with a lot of other events out there is that, you know, it feels instead of feeling like an event that you're a part of, right? It feels like you're playing someone else's game, and you just kind of happen to be there. You know yeah, it's I mean? like a pawn. Yeah, and I'm just, like I'm just there to suit their purpose, a number for the fucking for the server. And that kind of sucks, you know. With our campaign, uh, the Maryland campaign, you know, I'll bend rules for the players as long as everybody agrees, right? Like I'm not such an adherent to the rules, right? That it's like, oh no, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. As long as everybody's happy, like I don't care. We can bend the rules as much as we want, but especially the tabletop portion, right? That like that doesn't really matter. As long as everybody's in agreement, everybody's happy, right? Like that's the best part. You know what I mean? It's just making sure that uh, we've got ourselves a good event for the war of rights portion. Like that should always take precedence. Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah. So like I, I stream, I stream our tabletop cord on like my Twitch. So, like, if anyone's guys want to actually watch it, they can. And also, if I, like, forget to do the tabletop updates, I can just do it, like, watch the Twitch. Um, but, like, we, we we used to have a channel in our Discord where we post, like, the, the updates every week and then stuff. And cause some, some guys are interested about it. And they just, like, like, especially, well, in my unit, like, some guys just like to know like whose battle they'll be fighting is it our token and then if it is our token like it just makes them want to win a bit more because like it's that's our little baby on that board and they want to you know not necessarily a maryland campaign because in all fairness we have names on tokens but really nobody is really in charge of a token it's just whatever the hell you want to do which is kind of fun as well because it means that I can just leave NA coordination, go away and do something, and Zoo won't shout at me. But, you know, Grand Campaign, <laughs> link in description. Um, of this video. Eagle, you're going to have to yeah, put that Eagle, in yourself. Eagle, yeah, Eagle, make sure you put that in. Yeah, Maryland Let's... Campaign, Discord link, yeah. Can I replace that with my, you know, added information we'll just, that you yeah, always ask? If you want. All right, yeah. But, no, but can you just like do both, like EU campaign and A campaign? You know, mm-hmm. for any European or regiments out there, you know, 8 p.m. BST every there Saturday. Is HTC. It's oh, not on. Well, I'm talking NA. about EU. Yeah, who cares about EU? HTC is not represented here right oh, now. There's no listen, HTC uh, regiments here. From everything I've heard Killer describe to me about his grand campaign, if you like HTC and it's exactly the same as the grand campaign, you'll just like the grand campaign more. Because, yeah. No, HTC has way more like. Oh, yeah. Technical and complicated things in the grand campaign. Well, never mind. You'll like you'll like grand campaign even more, right? H. I mean, it's just you know, it's thumbs down, man. Thumbs down. HGC. When when I when I took over GC, we kind of like we we got we like got rid of so much. Like I got rid of so much stuff that was in there at the end because like every season we we like added more things and more things and more things to try and spice it up and change it and stuff. And it just got to the point where like there was so much that. When Either half of it was. wasn't, half of it wasn't used, or people would always like complain about something or whatever, and it was just so annoying. So we just went back to the base and then just build from there. Kind of sounds like uh, 
Fortnite chapter uh, one season ten. <laughs> oh god, am I supposed to get that? Bro, Fortnite? 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 Uh, We're gonna start streaming Fortnite. Honestly, it's summer. I should Fortnite, start Fortnite skin events. tier list. Fortnite, <laughs> Fortnite season tier list. Yeah, when is that's the War of Rights update we need, right? Battleline Network reporting live. I uh <laughs> last time I live streamed, uh we did we broadcasted one public match. It went great. And then we started record filming the second one, and then my screen went black. Like, if my laptop didn't blue with this black screen every other day, I would be live streaming probably this summer. What the hell is wrong with your laptop? I don't know. I think it's my yeah. graphics card. Do the $22 you, a... you make a month from Battleline Network not <laughs> allow you to get a better update? Bro, if I, at this point, I just want to get a new PC instead of upgrading this laptop, especially because I'm almost out of college. So. I'm but you're almost out? What do you mean uh, you're almost I out? I got one more year. Oh, same. Hey. No way. Fist bump. Anyway. Anyway, that's something about Eagle <laughs> Boy. Uh, has anyone, anyone got anything else on how to run a good event before we go to how to run a good regiment? Hmm. Don't be a dick as an admin. Yeah, that's that's true. That is a good point. Because a lot of this how to run a good event is just pretty obvious from talking about it for 20-some minutes now. It seems obvious, okay. Okay, okay. It, the goals are, like, obvious, <laughs> but, like, making it happen is a completely different thing. Well, yeah, because you a, to, to make a good event, you also have to be somewhat liked by the people who are trying to join your... Because if people don't like you, they're not going to join your event. Because they're just going to be like, oh, well, this guy's a toxic piece of dirty piece of ass. So they're not going to come to this event. They're going to go to a community event. I mean, like Saturday now, there's no community events on Saturdays at all now. It's all private events. I'm pretty sure that's how I came to being able to be a part of the Maryland campaign is because I just run the HTC Rejects crowd, which I'm proud to be a part of. The HTC Rejects crowd. <laughs> yeah. Like, it is uh, actually, it is pretty much any regiment that has been kicked out of left HTC. Yeah, and now they're stuck, and now we have opposite problems because they have all of the Union regiments in the <laughs> NHL, and I have all of the Confederate regiments in the Whoa. NHL. Maryland campaign supports racist. What? Whoa, yeah. hey. Whoa. 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 Listen, the Chief Brigade, Iron Brigade in Sixth Wisconsin would be not happy to hear that, all right? They um, are... Bro, cheese, and uh, you know they will not. Cheese is racist. Confirmed. Hood made it back. <laughs> Confirmed. Oh. Zoo, zoo made cheese racist. Like this. We we'll get this campaign debate happening in a few weeks. We'll make it happen. Just because I race cars doesn't mean I'm racist, right? <laughs> Whoa. Maybe you need wow. to change my introduction. Yeah, maybe. Should start this whole podcast again. So I want to. Just like hi, Zoo's racist. <laughs> Got him. Oh, all right. like him. You can use that one instead. Yeah, we'll just we'll just we'll just chop the voice thing out. So yeah, I guess. So obviously the goals from this event conversation, how to run a good event. Obvious, the goals are pretty obvious, but making it happen are a different situation. The same thing could be said for running a regiment. So, I guess. Uh, no. What? No. No. What do you mean? No. No, there's no. You don't need goals to run a regiment. Hey, sir. You don't I need ran goals. A, you know, you, you need, need a base. Discord and a dream. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I ran. As, like, I ran a very successful Beekoff regiment for like three months. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You didn't turn up at all to that Beekoff regiment, though. Hey, <laughs> we don't talk about that. Speaking of goals. Yeah. Not cool goals. <laughs> nah, like. It depends how you start off, like, because if you start off by, like, you know, cooing another regiment and you end up with a bunch of guys, then it's somewhat easier. But if you just start with, like, one other guy or on your own, um, then, you know, you actually do have to put time in at the beginning. Because, like, if you, do, if you go out one day and recruit, like, five, ten guys and then you don't recruit for a week, you're not going to have those five or ten guys probably still because they're not going to want to stay in a regiment that small. So you have to keep recruiting and recruiting so people are like, oh, this is an okay big regiment. Let's stay. Oh, it's and that then, on top of just people leaving regularly. People are yes. not... Like, maybe 
on average, 10% of people will stay, maybe. Is that how you came upon your own killer? Did you start a coup so you didn't have to recruit? No, actually, I oh, started my regiment with here, one folks. guy. Oh. I started my regiment with one guy. And that was me. No, it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> it was no, no, so we started the regiment, and then about like a week, uh, a few days in, we recruited VA. Uh, and then VA has been here ever since. Almost almost three years now. Almost three years. Good old good old First Virginia. Salute to the man. Not the regiment. First Virginia, not the regiment. Okay. Trash. First VA cab. <laughs> Shut up, the preacher. Bro, I would put I would put First Virginia, okay, above First Virginia Cav. Hot take. Major First Virginia is better than the whole of First Virginia Cav. Fake news. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, really know who you're talking about, but fake news. Zoo agrees with me. I don't. You do? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I kind of like Preacher. I do. You too. like Preacher more than VA? I don't you like really Preacher. Really like more. I mean, I don't know. It's not. It's kind of. Why would we compare apples to oranges? They're both cool in their own right. right? Preach. Preacher. Mm. Preacher's more of a. Preacher's more of a pair. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So, speaking of recruitment, what are good <laughs> ways to recruit, and what are bad ways to recruit? I'm gonna tell. Listen, I'm gonna tell you the the worst way to recruit right here, right now. And everybody here better. Everybody here better agree with me. If you're the guy in the pubs that sits in the spawn and tries to go up and talk to people, boy, oh boy, can you just fucking uninstall the game, dude? Just fucking. It's, Would you like to shout anyone Minecraft. out? Would you like to All shout right? anyone out? Just fucking. Would you like to no give anyone shit. a shout out? What the, the shout the out to people? The people that recruit in 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 the pub, <laughs> uh, the only person that I remember recruiting the pub, the first Louisiana battalion. Uh, that's the only person I've seen recently. But man, fuck, fuck them, dude. Fucking, how are you gonna sit, win? Listen, all I want to do in the pubs is try to win the game. You're not helping. You're hurting. You're keeping people back so they can listen to your monologue about joining one of fifty other regiments that are exactly the same as you with a different name, right? And you're not helping us kill the Yankees, right? Or beat back the Rebels. You're just sitting there, and we're taking a fat L, and it's basically your fault. You know what I mean? Like, just don't recruit in the spawn. Just don't do it. It's 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 bad charisma. Honestly, zero, I really zero, wanted, zero riz. There I really want to disagree with you with whatever he said, but I can't disagree with that. Yeah, no, no, it's because you got to... You got you to get them. You, get, you can get a good overview of, you know, all your pickings there, see? Your what? By spawn? Or yeah, you know, you... you can just see who all's there because they're not all spread out. <clears throat> and then can someone spot. kick him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm stop being devil. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta befriend them. See, you gotta, you gotta compliment their name. Be like, hey, that's a really cool name. You know, you're a really good shot. You know, you're so, you're so much of a good shot that you know. I feel like we could use you. Okay, <laughs> that's you. different from what <laughs> normally happens. No, 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 no. A new, new guy comes in, he spawns in. Hey, you ain't doing it, Richmond. <laughs> no, no, you gotta exactly. talk him. You gotta follow him around. And then not yeah, say well, anything. Okay, that's a different technique. Okay. So if I don't, if I don't someone that's like, the, there's like stalking the spawn. They're hunting. They see someone yeah. spawning in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they say they don't have tags on them. Uh, hey there, Saggy Balls 267. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you doing today? And then my you favorite. You want to join a regiment? Sorry, sir. Go on. I was gonna say, and then my, my other favorite part about you know people who recruit right is when they go and type in a message and they're like, "Hey, listen, type type seven if oh you want to fucking join this regiment." <laughs> and all, I, I, all I do, all I do is I type, I type, I just spam eight, right or nine, or whatever number. <laughs> I, I, whatever no, number I they don't want me to spam, I just I, I put that. I just, I just type so, anyway. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, whenever someone text chat recruits. Like, if I'm in there with a bunch of my guys, we just, like, spam the chat so that their message gets, like, took off the thing. <laughs> so, okay, do, I, do we not like text recruiting either? No, I, I, do, do, I do do text recruiting, right? But I only do it when I'm leading as an officer and after I've won a game. I only text recruit if I'm it's on our server and I put, like, an announcement up. Like, like all you other regiments out there that are in this game, you don't <laughs> own this server. I do, so join my regiment. That doesn't happen since like 2019. When you've been able to do that? No, I, I, I had my server up for about three hours, like at the start of the year, 
the... And then the pub server came on again. <laughs> oh yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, pod, the pod community has, POD, baby. Yeah, has <sighs> basically destroyed the chance of regiments Good. like having it in their server, which, I, like I said, I think it's great. Honestly, what the pod community is doing for the pubs, it's fan-fucking-tastic. And it's even better knowing that a backup for the pod is the 5th NC server, which is basically Susser Brigade. So, I mean, honestly, you know, it's like we got our little fingers in everywhere, man. Like, if you, you can't go wrong. With the Got your fingers in every pie. Uh, you know, yeah. we're, we're, we're in pod, we're in BLN, SLN, right? We're, you know, we're everywhere, man. Sussy Night Live. We have our own event, Maryland campaign. I'm just saying, you know, the premier War of Rights experience, it's, you know, it's the Sus Brigade. Yeah, that's, we'll that. this, that's why I'm using this podcast as an opportunity to recruit. Talk well, about recruit. We'll get that merch out soon, but. <laughs> yeah. Can Let's... the real leaders of Sussy Brigade please come and collect. I Your you private say, zoo. Stand up. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> stand up. Um, he just stands up. Now, what is the, just... what is the best rec- way to recruit, from your guys' experience? Oh, like we're gonna share. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Refer to my previous comment. Yeah, that's honestly true. I mean, when I recruited, like probably two years ago, that was probably the way I did it the best. But... Wait, what? Like, any other way you can think of is the best. Just don't uh, spawn recruit. You heathens. And then just compliment them all the time. Like, oh, wow, you're a really good shot. Or, oh, wow, that name, that name, bro, that is that is a great name. I could see my tags in front of that name. <laughs> I mean, pretty much any kind of recruiting that involves you kind of making a connection with the person <laughs> is going to be a lot better than anything else. Uh, I just kind of... If, if you put, like, two or three sentences in front of... You want to join our regiment? You'll I, oh yeah, sure. have a much better I chance. Chat, I, I just I throw chatter blinds at them. Throw what? To recruit, I throw chatter blinds. Oh. Yeah. Like, oh no! I just shit my pants. Can I climb on yours? <laughs> Do you want to join a regiment? <laughs> Got him. It works every time. Uh, I mean, there are other ways. Um, in the official Discord, you can put uh, recruitment posts in the in that recruitment channel. Um, there's also the yeah. company tool. That no, no that's a thing. Uh, there's company. also Omega. Omega. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, hate, I, I don't I don't like right. the company tool. It's oh, oh, of course. Right. What you up to? Oh, have you heard about a game called War Right? It's like text what? every phone number. That's tax recruiting and it's finest. Or you, or you just go on one of those YouTubers, um, uh, those popular YouTube videos that calls it a racist game, and just try and be one of the first people to comment. Hey, you want to join my race in this racist game? <laughs> I was <laughs> Twitch stream as last night. It was like 10 a.m. Um, and I was just going through Twitch, looking at random games. Like there was someone playing Fortnite, and I was like, Hey, yeah, you're you're cracking nineties real good. You should join my War of Rights regiment. <laughs> <laughs> Did the guy just installs it on stream okay <laughs> yeah i didn't get anyone they oh. all just ignored me oh. it was horrible. wow they hate okay. killer and the grand campaign <laughs> twitch Probably... hates killer twitch yep. hates killer what do they do they actually don't i get emails off twitch all the time do you know i have made like 300 bucks off twitch that's more Let's than i've made in a whole year <laughs> Eagle, you maybe you should report it live. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe I should. Hi, I've, got, I've, got, I've got three. I have three subscribers on Twitch that give me like five pounds a month each. Let's go. Kittler is goaded with the sauce. We can. I'll try live streaming this Saturday. In all fairness, I get all my other crap done. Well, I feel like Saturday. they've just forgotten. I feel oh, like they've just forgotten that they're subscribed to me and they just keep paying the subscription. No, no, no. Let's Tomorrow. go back to Saturday. Let's go back to Saturday. There's a really good event right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, HEC. Hey, yo! No, maybe maybe we could try. I could try streaming tomorrow night because the preseason event doesn't matter a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. So maybe we'll try. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Can I be in then stream with you? If you want. Uh, Thanks. Another thing, on top of recruitment, there's retention. Um, so oh, what are good gosh. ways to retain members that you get into your Discord and attend events? Not with you. Make them my bitch and make, make them, them feel special. Phantom, is this true? Does Killer do this? Yes. How do you think I got to special advisor? 
Uh, and like and and like from PFC to Adjutant. Yeah, that's right. You did actually go from PFC to Adjutant, but that was two years ago. You were an Adjutant for two years. Hey, 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 we don't talk about that. Progress. I think a, a Zap Star might stay. The best way to keep guys in your regiment is to form voice. is to form a secret police of people who will sniff out anti disestablishmentarianism in your regiment what? and prevent oh active coups from starting up in the first place. But <laughs> Crushing every uprising that even has a chance of gaining any traction. I can. I don't. I. I. I don't. I. L I let the uprisings happen because then it gets rid of anyone who doesn't like me in my regiment. So then I have to deal with people who do like me. It's nice. You have to deal with people who like you. That's a. Yeah. No. To say is that. <laughs> bribe yeah, them with horrible. Steam gift cards. I actually. <laughs> do, I actually do do. I don't bribe people with Steam gift cards. <laughs> that's good. That's. I uh, put that out there. But um, yeah, I do. I do reward reward my members with with um, team gift cards. That'd be uh... you should have heard it first. Killer pays his recruits. Nah, yeah. I I get I get I bought what have I what have I given you, Phantom? Oh, That's hell up you like a, I bought him hell let loose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you gave me an I blue uh, like three dollars Steam gift cards for those videos and junk we made. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We actually yeah. tried a, a recruitment tournament a long time ago where we would pay out like a dollar for every recruited person you had or something like that. Mm. How long did it we, work? We have uh, like it a worked five... the first time we did it, and then we tried it a second time and it failed miserably. So we have like five a dollars. five if you get if you get uh, like well, we five like recruits, you get a you get a ten ten pounds team gift card. It's like thirty dollars. Then like a month, like I got like thirty guys the first time and the second time it just didn't work. You know? I, it's per month, I think, or at least that's what I got on my sheet. Should do a um, I should try hosting like a War of Rains Olympics, and the winner gets like a Steam gift card and something. Bro, like that. V8, did V8 uh, not think, mention uh... that to you? Huh? Did V8 not mention that to you? Uh, he, he's been meaning or wanting to mention that to you. I've, I don't think he's told me. I think Rollins. I think it was Rollins. He was messaging me about something uh, similar to God. that. Uh, not Rollins. Not uh, <laughs> Rollins. Summer I've never seen. I've never seen a private be so active in officer things than Rollins. Like he's been a private, I think, since I've started playing this game. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, he's a mod in the event coordination Discord. Yeah, he's he's red pill. fucking everywhere. <laughs> yeah, literally. I'm like, Jesus, this this guy. I just don't. He's like, he he was he was one of the biggest like guys who rose up against war of rights trolling and pub matches. That is, it's a simple, yeah. it's simple. Is it there? You just what? simply got to be an anti troll and uh, you become on top. Be an anti troll. That's actually how I got mod in the event coordination Discord. Because I was like, Red, there's no European mods. This is racist. I want mod. And he's like, Okay. Hell yeah. Hell That's yeah. what Ninja needed to do. He simply needed to be a European. Yep. <laughs> but um, I think another good way to retain people is uh, play games outside of War of Rights. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Back Hello, in 2020, I do a lot of Jackbox. Jackbox is great. Hello, Loose Wednesdays. Great. Bad, yeah. oh, bad event. Overall, cringe event. Cringe overall, event. Cringe. It, overall, it's just hanging out with them. Yeah, it's just keeping the, the classic connection. Yeah. How the hell do you cause a connection with D Company? You're in this Discord more than anywhere else. Huh? Oh, yeah. They're fine. You're literally <laughs> <laughs> They're the, they're the chosen men. They're, they'll be all right. But um, the big, the probably the, it, it's the hump. I would say the speed bump of going from uh, private to PFC, or basically just going um, past like two events. Because like if someone comes to, like five events, they're probably going to stick around a little bit longer, or at least they have a, a lot better chance. Because like in the first like few games, you don't know what's going on. Because like it's hard for us to imagine back in the day, but like you you don't know any of these maps, you don't know any of these people, you don't know any of these voices. So trying to go around and be like, go left, go right, go right, west, west, north, north. It's like, where the fuck am I going? So getting past that helps a lot for people to at least enjoy the game. It is very very true. Uh, yeah. I playing games having like competent games. leaders is also well okay yes well, that is that's well, the big thing actually i started taking that back because uh, it can be debated 
whether that's like best being likable. Yeah, not bad I mean, shit to be leaders. That's what's wrong with I, FNC. Oh. Don't make fun oh, of Doug. Oh, <laughs> no, not Doug Murphy, dude. No, Doug, Murphy, Doug, Murphy, Doug's dude. Guy. Yeah, Doug's the Murphy, guy. Murphy, dude. That needs to just take over, man. Yeah, Doug's the retainer, Murphy. and Murphy's. Murphy's, um, Murphy's in that deal. I'm gonna get another message on Murphy after this. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> do you remember, do you remember during the podcast, uh, during the tier list, and I was like, fifth and C Murphy beats you, fifth and C Doug beats you. Now, what are we doing? That uh, leadership uh, tier list. You know what I mean? Oh, um, that's no, no, too. No. That's too personal. Oh, uh, great S tier. Exactly, <laughs> and you know what? It's exactly what's going to get you the most views of any video on your channel. Yeah, let's get yeah, that. Sure. Well, that I'm going more... to get a recruit one day and that, be like, yeah, I heard you were a competent leader. That... <laughs> Sometimes you got to push the envelope, you know what I mean? Like, let's let's be real here. Where do we put Eagle as a leader, as IVB, right? You know what I mean? Like, where I know. Right? Right? Be like court it, court it, court it. That's what we got to do, right? Uh, this week, Thursday. Announcers lead? No, 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 no. Thursday night. Or uh, this Thursday night would be the best for me, but I think like me leading a pub match and you guys spectating me, I think would be an amazing video. We got to do that. Just have uh, the announcers versus each other in a BL on Wednesday. <laughs> me versus you. Oh boy. <laughs> I, like that. I like that. Me and me and boss, me and boss will um, will um, spectate and we'll spectate watch. That. Yeah, we'll and judge then, you. And won't even pay attention to the game. It's a piece of random bullshit that Buzz is talking about. Yeah, Buzz was just the whole video. Uh, yeah. about so, so I met this girl the other day on Tinder. Right? My school of academy, which collector got <laughs> second in class. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz starts talking about Israel and Palestine. Honestly. Oh, uh, no. Not again. Sudan. Ukraine? Question mark. Sudan, for instance. Slava. I think we talked about we didn't talk about structure yet, did we? No, no. Hmm. I think uh, you gotta have. Okay, this is such a broad statement, uh, but like the 69th New York for the IVB, it's split up into NA EU. The NA group provides many opportunities to be promoted, whereas the EU section never promotes people. They're very strict structure. I think the NA structure of letting people be promoted is better than a structure that doesn't let people get promoted. Well, that's just my opinion. I don't know. I've always been kind of a bottom up, right? Like, obviously, it's all fucking E rank. Like, nobody gives a shit. But I do think it puts kind of a bad taste when you start up a regiment with five guys. You make yourself a colonel, and then all of a sudden, you have the 10th Alabama, the 1st Alabama Cavalry, and the 3rd North Carolina Battery. And now you're just like fucking Colonel, what, the entire army of Northern Virginia? Like, seriously, come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, that shit don't work. Did you just read that off my fucking. No, I'm not even. I'm not signed up to Maryland campaign this season. <laughs> I'm my, this, I'm well, he my, said this I'm season. I'm delaying I'm my. I'm registering. He's using my unit registration oh. application against me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if, if, let's say if someone starts a regiment, they. The well, thing see, you probably put yourself to not look stupid is yeah. a ca captain at most. When it comes because to structure, it's just dumb. Yeah, like because obviously we recently um, we recently uh, downsized one might say and gotten rid of a Ooh. regiment in ANV um, that we Ooh. gave the option to merge or leave to, um, and we decided oh, like we sat we talked about it and we're like, do we care if it's called ANV? Or do we want it just to be called 10th Alabama? And they were like, we don't care. So that's why we, after we got rid of Greg's Brigade, may God rest their soul, um, we just kept AMV because we don't really give a shit. It's just a name. It gets recruits. Good enough. Everyone knows the AMV. Yeah, I think it looks best when you have a lot of them listed <laughs> and then like only, a, only a few like upper ranks. Yeah, I like that. I think it does. For all it companies, just feels right. Just, you need for like, depending on how many your company brings, to so you need to have on average like one NCO for every two or three enlisted that that company brings. So, if they have like twelve to an event, like three or four of them might be NCOs, and then all the rest will be enlisted, pretty much. Yeah, there is a. At one point, since uh, 
because Six only had four NA companies. It would be like all officers like a few, a few months ago. So it'd be like four captains, four first lieutenants, four second lieutenants. That's already 12 people. And then you have majors and a lot of people have to pilot a major general. <laughs> so you, you just have a 20-man a officer event and like a few NCOs sprinkled in. That's one thing I think is stupid about structure. Generals mm. and major generals is fucking stupid. <laughs> I am the very model so of a modern stupid. major general. It is so fucking stupid. There is no way, shape, or form at any point when you should be calling yourself a brigadier general, major general, ultimate at, daddy at, general. Are you calling point, out Drax at, and Pioletti and MJ? Yes, yes, yes I have. Yes, why I am. Why wouldn't he? He was on the menu. I was not on the menu. <laughs> I was the one who flipped the fucking table, bro. What? Come at me. Table. Okay, we're not even talking about that. Wait, Second so dining on the here. menu. <laughs> yeah. Nah, the generals are a, a pile of wank. A major general pilot, it just sounds so nice. No, it doesn't. Oh, what would sound better, <laughs> killer? Uh, private pilot. <laughs> Oh, what 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 what's better with Drax? Volunteer Drax. <laughs> Damn. Private, private killer. Like, I just don't understand. Like, what is the need to have generals? Like, if your regiment is getting to the size that you have to promote yourself to end up, like, to put other people in ranks. Like, like, what's the point in having a regiment? Like. All these big units out there that have like three or four colonels, like brigadier generals, all that malarkey. It's like it's so stupid. It's just just make more fucking companies at that point. On top of it, all the all the communities that have those uh, generals or whatever, you know, they used to be pretty big, but they've all gotten a lot smaller. I remember when two four yeah. fill well, like seventy five, seventy five, right? They could overfill a server, uh, but uh, now you know even. Uh, what is it, WD and AB, right? I mean, they're, they're big, but uh, I don't know. I feel like yeah, they, they were bigger before. Uh, is anybody in the Union? Nine Corps, right? Nine Corps yeah, gotten pretty cool. small. I mean, they have to pair up with RGD to beef up their numbers, make them seem a lot better. That's what I mean. I feel like... The, 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 Maryland the, was pretty big. And then oh, yeah, they Maryland just line. Was yeah, the Maryland yeah. line. And then, you know, LaBelle left, and now we have Zapstar, thank God. Praise be. Well, but yeah, it's like it just doesn't make sense. Like they have any it just sense a little bit of realization and like sort their fucking structures out or they just need to stop. Stop. They just need to stop. That's it really. Stop. Yeah, have everyone be volunteers except for the guy who's in charge who's a recruit. I love that. <laughs> AFC is the best rank. First Honestly, class. yeah, when you become an officer, it just kind of sucks. Yeah, <laughs> so, and so when you have responsibilities. Like, so, I I rose up the second call ladder so fast. Like, I started in January, and then by, like, May, I was a captain. And I, that, was just, that was just literally down to people above me, just constantly stepping down. And it was horrible. And then by by July, I have my own regiment. Let's go. You were in two corps. Yeah, once you get to the point where you have to take. Yeah, I was in. Yeah, I was in thirteenth Georgia and second corps back in twenty twenty. You guys had a Georgia. Well, yeah, we we were. Yeah, we were thirteenth Georgia, and then we uh, we had a big clash with sixth LA. Then we ended up like Pixar and Apollo, and all of our high command left, and then we took it over and started the twenty fourth Georgia. I thought you uh, were from eighteen Mississippi. No, in, no, I was in 13th. And then in June of 2020, we started um, the 24th Georgia. And then in September, well, in July, I started the 10th Alabama. And then in September, I red sniped the 18th Mississippi from 2nd Corps. Um, and 18th MS is a thing again. Whoa. Oh, yeah. But not, not it's a different 18th MS still. So. Oh, yeah. We've got a, we've got a regular uh, dissenter here, killer. Oh, yeah. It's not his regiment didn't form from a coup. He just coups other regiments. It takes thirty days. So true. No, yeah, I, he, he why is this guy here? I oh. had I had my regiment for like three months before I got here to Mississippi. 
Oh, here, Brad sniped. You heard here first. I still like, like um, Gareth. Sure. Gareth came from AT Mississippi. He's my ex owner. And V, no honor and a video, ma'am. Hey, I don't think I see. I, I'm not saying I don't condone red sniping. I'm not saying I condone it either. Only when you red sniping. I have a quote to say otherwise. Only when you want to join me. I only, I only red snipe from specific regiments, and <laughs> if, if I don't red snipe from you, it means I like you. Yeah, I, I have a I have a quote in our um uh, in our officer meeting <laughs> notes that I took. Uh, in case you wanna remember that there, killer. <laughs> about about this specific uh the specific subject, you know, of red sniping. Yeah, you said something. Can you read me back say, those uh, meeting minutes? Oh, I think it's said I think wait, what did <laughs> I say? Red sniping is okay as long as I can't trace it back to you. That's what you said. Oh no. crap. We wow. got him. Cotton four K. Yeah, cotton four K. I have That's why that's why I hate when people complain in the event coordination discord about red sniping. It's like bro. If someone red sniped from your regiment, okay, go and cry to them. I don't want to hear about it. Like, if someone red snipes from me, of course, that means I'll you be did annoyed. A and I'll, yeah, literally, I did. Yeah. If someone red snipes from me, I just red snipe from them back. It's just, <laughs> what, yeah. Red sniping. Killers are red sniper. Can, can That's the best them. recruitment strategy, by the way. Uh, does red anyone <laughs> here have, like, a EUNA portion yes. in their regiment? Yes. Okay. Crap. But your EU guys all speak Italian and French, right? Well, we have, <laughs> yeah. well, I speak yeah. English too, and we have 14th LA. We speak English. Oh yeah, I forgot you got the 14th LA in there. Yeah. They? they speak yeah. English. Yeah, but I mean, pretty much all of them speak English, at least to a degree. There's not that many 14th LA guys. But, but you have a French <laughs> and an Italian group, right? Yeah, we have two French groups. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got Kershaw's company and Kershaw's brigade. <laughs> Second call is just like you don't. I can't even remember how many people is fucking in there anymore. How many French and Italian members we have though? I don't know, Reagan. Now you heard it here, folks. Corded does Actually, not care about his his uh, <laughs> regiment. ANV is a predominantly EU regiment. ANV knows exactly. <laughs> I, I just want to say that. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm clipping that out of this podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got Trump saying it, and now you got Eagle saying it. Uh, Anyone? Yeah. We're anyone else have anything about regiments? We're 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 getting close to an hour now. Well, first Delaware. Uh, yeah, first Delaware is any. They're 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 good. I like Delaware. They brought like I twenty guys to your GC, twenty five guys to your GC event. Yeah, um, that's because they... GC is a great fucking event. Okay, you should all join it. Everyone I, listening uh, to this podcast. I can't. I can't play go... World Rights at three p.m. Fucking. Well, no, yes. Everyone, it's everyone listening to this Saturday podcast, if you're Friday. a recruit or a private or a PFC or an NCO, go harass your commanding officer and be like, we want to join Grand Campaign. We want to join Grand Campaign. And then the link to Grand Campaign will be in this video description that Eagle's going to put there. Yeah, and, you know, gross. join in. Grand Campaign's a great immersive event. Nah, Grand Campaign yeah. tried to make their own Grand Campaign network to subvert the battle line network. Yeah. Therefore... <laughs> I'm joking. That was a joke. I'm joking. For every, for every <laughs> other non-Euro scum and who loves freedom and is born in America, right? Go join the Maryland campaign, which our Sussy Line Network correspondent here, Eagle, will provide in the description below. All right, the Maryland campaign hosted by the community because uh, I'm I highly not recommend joining the House Divided campaign. I should. Really. I'd, I think you should join the House of Ida campaign if you are a masochist and love having. A oh, speaking speaking of the Grand Campaign Network, I should. Yeah, I should. That's, why, that's why I hit request. To yeah, chat, no, right? I, that was <laughs> half of how I saw that. I was like, oh, this will be funny. Um, it's Killer's fault. His idea, not mine. It was a joke, and I'm you kidding. actually did it. I'm kicking Killer out. No, uh, kill him. But I, yeah. Anything else before we wrap it up for the night? Uh, at, oh, hold on. Yes, hold on. I, I, I have something. Um, give me one second. One. All right. Well, thanks for thank watching, you, everybody. Thank, yeah, thank you all for. The, the the Army of Northern Virginia is a prestigious European and North American regiment. Right, cut him off oh, there. Oh, yeah. them, I love that you. Multiple... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all that for watching or listening to this week's podcast. Um, 
good second half, I will say. Quite enjoyable. Hey, uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. For like, comment, subscribe for more. Uh, and we'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night. Shades, shades and A and V now. Yeah. I'm not. Bye. Oh, yeah.